Hello everyone, etc. here bringing you episode 52 of Modern Skyblock 3 Departed, a mod pack by Emozewa Gamer. So in the last episode, I still wasn't able to get my um, I still wasn't able to get my ectoplasm. I rearranged this island and I went through the creation of all of the bee product produce. Got now some honey, 31 bucket of it, and I set up this carpenter to start making scented, scented paneling. So already we're starting to get to a point where we can create five alveari. But we're running out of beeswax. So one of the things that we have to make sure is that we break down the, um, the silky propolis for the... I'm just going to put the, uh, the onion here. We have to make sure that we're breaking down the silky propolis. But I think that if we break down the propolis also... We get some, no, we don't get beeswax from that. So I have to look at the other comb. We're going to have to set up a situation to be getting a lot more beeswax. And see, these give honey, so I might as well throw these in right now so that they start breaking down. Oh, five more silk wisps. Great. Let's put them in here. And we're so close with this. Like, we're with these nine, we're going to be at 19. And we're now five away from being able to craft the whole armor set. I also have this squeezer and that squeezer both working on seed oil and seed oil going into a uh, ender tank and also coming into this carpenter so that we have some when we need it. So that's pretty much for the bee island. Now in this episode what I want to do is I want to start working on our, oh, I have these I'm going to put here, I want to start working on uh, pressure. Under pressure is the quest that we're going to be working on today. So for under pressure, well, we're going to need another island. So let me check what I have to build another island. And there isn't any special uh, bricks f that exist for um, under pressure, which is pneumatic craft. So if, since there isn't any special kind of brick, I might as well just make it out of regular brick for now and not waste any time on decoration or feature so let's just turn all of that in cobblestone and big tile sorry and this one this is going to be the one that we put around let's put this embossed one around let's see what we have for glowstone we're going to need um eight light so that's eight times four so that's 16 and 32 so let's grab a little bit more glowstone Eek, glowstone is low i don't like that glowstone is low but what can I do? It is what it is for now, and I don't have time to worry about this. So let's just do this and quickly get our island set up. And then we're going to start with under pressure. So let's just put that down right here. And the middle is going to be right here. Oh, I kind of forgot that I want an extra one to put in here. So I'm still going to be missing one. And you know my islands are always like three by three uh, groups of three. So I would need more than eight. I would need nine. But the reason I don't need nine is that I'm actually going to make one of the, like this first island right here. I'm going to make out, oops, not this one. I'm going to make out of obsidian. I should turn, oh, this is not recharged. That's why I'm having a problem grabbing material. So let's just go recharge that quickly. We'll grab obsidian. And it's very important because the first step of under pressure is going to require an explosion. So let's just recharge that quickly and get back to work. By the way, our chicken are now all 10, 10, 10. And I have one roost filled with 16 nether chicken, giving more nether quartz than I will ever need. And the other one giving me a ton of, of eggs. So all of my obsidian is back here i was going the wrong way actually let me grab some obsidian i'm going to need nine obsidian seven eight nine for the island so let's go back there and we're going to set up the first part of the island right here two three one two three one two three perfect and now these big tiles and the design i want to go with which is not it's nothing special it's not a great design but this is what I made for now oops wrong one right here is going to be like this so these kind of 
chiseled bordered uh, cobblestone and this in the middle right like this so I'm going to continue on the island as we go because I don't want to spend more time than I need let's look at the quest right now and let's get started with under pressure so the first thing we can do is compressed iron by exploding TNT near a few iron ingots about 80% of them will be turned into a compressed iron ingots and the rest will be destroyed uh, there's a more ec economical way of making compressed iron that we'll get to a bit later but I just want to start strong with this mod and we have an easy way of making iron so I'm going to be transforming five stacks of iron it's not really doesn't matter the waste because we can make iron so easy so let's grab some TNT like so so one TNT and we're going to need a lever I'm sure I have some levers I've been making levers every like for many reasons left and right so that's the lever I'm going to make sure that this is turned on perfect oh no it needs to be turned off that I almost made a mistake there I'm gonna put a lever there and now we're going to throw all of the iron so one two three four five stack oh come on five stack and i'm going to turn on the tnt and back up and grab all of this and see my five stacks ended up being three stacks and a little bit oh i can't use this because my bad i forgot to come here and say under pressure claim and while I'm here, I'm going to go embers and claim that also. Uh, which now gives me two trophy. Wait, let's, I think that's the first one. Yeah, that's the under pressure. And I'll put the ember one there for now. But that's under pressure started. So let's claim that first quest. Under pressure right here. Compressed iron. Oh, sorry. I need to pick a loot chest. Say claim. Next quest. So let's go to crafting because now at this point, we're going to be crafting a lot. Let's grab some redstone and let's come to the crafting grid here. So the first quest we can do is crop support. Crop supports make adjacent crop grow faster. To be honest, I haven't used the crop support. I don't know if they're good. I don't know that I really need them. I have such a good production of resource in my farms right now that I'm just going to craft them. And I'm honestly going to forget about it for now. So let's claim that, come back here. And then the next one I want to make is creating pressure. The air compressor uses fuel to generate pressure. So I've already played with this uh, in other mod pack and I've already played with this in my other playthrough. And I know that I'm going to need a lot of these. Um, I'm going to need a lot of those compressor because we need a lot of resource. Com compressor, sorry. And it's not they're so inexpensive there's just no point it's going to save us so much time so first we're going to make some pressure tube oh hello so first off we're going to make some pressure tube and i'm going to make three stacks one oh i'm out of glass really let's grab some glass and put it back here so again i'm going to grab three stacks of pre oh let's grab four perfect and now we can make these eight compressor. So let's make eight air compressor. And I'm gonna get rid of the glass right now. That's one quest done. So let's grab this loot chest, claim back. And now we have all of these options open. We're just gonna try and keep them in order. So second would be tin transferring. The transfer gadget can be placed on the side of a block for it to auto output to the block next to it on the same site. So that's kind of cool. Let's just make that. Tin transfer, ooh, flat transfer nodes. Really, I can craft those? Do I have extra utility unlocked? If that's the case that I could have been using those for, oh no, okay, haha, <laughs> yeah. See, extra utility stage must be unlocked. Uh, for one second, I thought that I'd been not using what I could. So it's the transfer gadget that we want. Transfer gadget is right here. Let's craft that. Ooh, I need some hoppers. That's one hopper. So that's not going to be a lot of tin gadget. But let's just make that one for now and claim the quest. So this loot chest, claim back. And let's look at the next quest. 
So already four quests in. Now I could go with this compressor or charging with pressure, but the next one I want to do is pressure chamber. Pressure chamber. The pressure chamber is a multi-block that needs to be at least three by three by three. It uses a certain amount of pressure to combine or pressurize the item in it. We need 30 pressure chamber wall and one pressure chamber valve. So let's just search for that. And in this mod pack, it is so inexpensive. I'm used to this costing tons of compressed iron, but in this mod pack, where's the pressure chamber wall? Pressure chamber wall right here. See, eight makes 16. So two craft of this is gonna give us our 30. And then we can make a pressure chamber valve like it says that we need. I'm gonna use four and a tube, which should complete the quest. Yes, another quest completed. Grab this loot chest and now it opens up a new one called automating the chamber. We don't have to automate the chamber. I'm going to explain it when we build it, but it's it's worth automating the chamber because of the loss of pressure. So pressure chamber interfaces can be used for automatically inputting or exporting from the pressure chamber. Place one from the inside to be an output and one from the outside to be an input. So we're going to need two. Let's go right here and craft those immediately. Pressure, no, not interface, sorry. Pressure, oh yeah, interface, sorry. Oh, I need some more. Uh, I need some more hoppers. What am I missing? I have chests, so I'm missing iron. Well, let's grab a stack of iron that we're going to put in here. And let's make more than one hopper because we always need hoppers. So let's make, oh, you know what? Let's make all 10. I don't think that we're going to need the chest all that much. So from that, we'll make two pressure chamber, one, two. We're gonna get that back. And now we only have 26 and I'm not sure 26 is enough, but let's go try it. Oh, I have four valve. Yes, it makes four at a time. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Let's go, let's just continue with this and we'll move this here and we'll move this here. And now we can build the next part. So let's come back here and just go three. That's going to be my second step of the island, like so. And we're just going to, I completely forgot to make a new island in between episodes. That's totally my bad. I usually don't want to waste any time building an island with you guys, but in this case, I have to, or we have nothing to put these on. Perfect. So I'm going to complete the inside of that one fully because we're going to put something on it this one i'm going to make hollow with a light uh, a glowstone block in it like so same with this one and this one and that's going to be enough for now we are going to be able to get started with our island with just that so the pressure chamber that we want to build hmm just give me a second i'm going to make some more of these gray factory block because we're going to need them and I don't want to fall down to the ground. So 64, 64 stone. Oh, I grab some apple and wood again. I really have to fix this output to have a void upgrade because this is getting annoying and some iron. Let's come back here. Now, if I remember correctly, I never remember the recipe. It seems to me that 50, I should have a 50% 50, 50 chance of getting it right the first time. And, oh, I was going to say every time I seem to get it wrong the first try. But in this case, I got it right the first time, so I can't really say that. So let's get rid of the iron and the ingot. And let's grab the chisel again. And with the chisel, we're going to transform these into factory block like this. Perfect. We're going to get... Just grab a medium storage crate. Perfect. I like having a medium storage crate because as per usual, I always end up putting a crate with so I can put material. For now, I'm going to put the loot chest because we don't need them. And now we can continue with this crafting. So let's continue setting this up like so. And this one needs to be... That's kind of weird. I had a ghost block for a moment, like so. And now we should be good enough to fall. 
My biggest worry here was that I was going to fall while, cra while trying to set up the island. So let's just do this and put another glowstone block right here. And since we're here, I should have grabbed my wand. But for now, let's just finish this little part now that it's fully lighted up. Okay, now we're ready. So basically, we need a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. So let's go. We need a bottom layer like so. And I'm going to be doing corners only for now. And then I'm going to be making a top layer. So this is almost a chamber. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to put a pressure valve right here. And now usually this is what you do. Usually you put one here, one here, one here, and it forms as you can see. And now that's a pressure chamber. And when you right click on it, you have all of the uh, interface to manage it. But I can't put anything in it. So if I want to put a block in it or something in it, I need to break this block and throw something in. This is not fun and this is not necessary. That's why you have the pressure chamber wall. So the trick is you go, this is going to be the output and this is going to be the input. So do you see an I here and an O there? So output, input. And now these you can interface with and now you can grab, grab something to put in. And the way it works, if I go back here and I grab one iron ingot, just because I want to show you, kind of. I say kind of because I'm not going to show how it really works right now. Let's just grab some of this charcoal and some more useless wood that I don't need. Apple and wood. And let's go back here. So now I can go here and I can say put one iron. Uh, oh no, I'm going to use the hoppers. You do need something to push it in. So let's grab a hopper. Although, I think I was looking at the output side. If that's the case, then that's really my bad and I'm really sad. So this is the input side. Nope, still can't put anything. Maybe it's because it's not pressurized though. So this is the input. I should be able... Yeah, yeah. see, it grabbed it and it's pushing it in. It says not enough pressure to move it in the chamber. And if I look here, there's an item filter. What I'm going to say is that I'm going to put a compressed iron ingot because I don't want it to extract the iron. I only want it to extract the compressed iron ingot. But this is not power. It's not getting any pressure. So here's what we're going to do. For now, we're going to make a simple yet dangerous setup. And I'm going to put this right here like so. And I'm going to come down here like this and like this. And I'm going to put a pressure. No, sorry. Doesn't work this way. I want to break this one right here. This one right here. It only works from the back. So one here, one here. Attach to and attach to. I guess I don't need that one then. So we have two uh, air compressor attached. Now we have three. Now we have four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw charcoal in this one and this one, this one, and finally that one. So now these are producing pressure. And you heard this input the um, iron ingot because we got to a situation where there was enough uh, pressure. That being said, you see a yellow um, pie chart. And a green and a red. What this means is that while it's in yellow, it's not enough pressure to transform the iron into compressed iron ingot. While it's in the green, it's all good. While it's in the red, well, as you guys know, red is bad. And red means usually that things are going to explode. So we're just going to come back here while this is cranking up slowly. And I just want to check and make sure that what I used to know still works. So I'm going to grab two lever and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in between these two and put a lever right here and a lever right here and these are now still working slowly building pressure and then I'll be able to turn them off so that they stop making pressure when I don't want them to make pressure and I'm kind of surprised at how slow this is I thought it was because I was using four that it would go up so fast Although, like everything, it's an advanced mod pack, so there are upgrades that we can put. So while we're waiting for this to grow, let's look at the next quest.
Oh, this is completed, so let's grab that. And we'll immediately put it in here. So the next quest, now that we have this set up, is anything here. We can do the liquid compressor. The liquid compressor is basically an air compressor that uses fluid instead of fuel. So see this, these one use charcoal. Oh, and did you hear the little sound? And this is all green now because if I look in here, I now have a compressed iron ingot that I can't output. You know what? I think that's where the gadget comes into play. So let's just come here. I no longer have any chests, so let me make some more chests. I'll grab these 16 and I'll make a chest. I'll grab one chest and I'll use the transfer gadget. I'm hoping that it's going to work well. I'm gonna put the transfer gadget on this and I'm gonna put a chest right there. Et voila! So yes, this is perfect. So this transfers to the chest what was inside here. Now, let me just walk through this one more time because now that it has enough pressure, this should work fairly fast. So you take one iron ingot and there's no loss here, by the way. So now we have 100% no loss. Put an iron ingot, goes into the interface. There's enough pressure, gets put in the chamber. There's enough pressure, so it changes immediately goes into this chamber and back into this chest. Et voila! So we have an automated pressure chain. well, semi-automated. And now we don't want things to explode, so we're gonna turn this off and th turn this off. And I'm gonna stay here just to make sure that it stops, because if it doesn't stop, things are going to blow up, and I do not, I repeat, do not want things to blow up. Let's just make sure that we're not going above five. This should be... Oh, it's... You know what? I don't know why it's not turning off. Maybe the uh, lever has to be somewhere else. I'm not taking any chance. I'm stumbling it one way or another. There are safety pressure valve. There are ways to make sure that this doesn't blow up. And we're going to go over it later. It just doesn't matter to me right this moment. So we're talking about a liquid compressor. So now let's go back here and let's craft a liquid compressor. So from this liquid, liquid compressor, like so, we can make this, I need two hides. So let's grab two leather right here. I called them hides, but they're leather, sorry. And let's make the liquid compressor. Now in this mod pack, I am really not impressed with the liquid compressor and I'm not intending to use it. It, it burns through lava like crazy and I don't find that it's any more efficient than the um, the one using charcoal. So I'm kind of sad about this whole thing. As, as you see, the system will not lose any pressure, but now it stops and it's not going higher. The only way it would uh, lose pressure is if I started putting things in the chamber to be changed. So that's another quest completed. Let's grab this. And now, oh, I said, let's grab this. And now we can do charging with pressure and pressure to eat. So charging with pressure. The charging station allows you to charge certain PCR items with pressure. So there are items that can be recharged with pressure. We don't have any right now. We're not gonna have one really soon, but this is one of the things that we have to, uh, no, not crafting, so charging. It's one of the things that we need to make. So let's make it charging station right here. I need three bricks. That's going to be very easy to get. Let's grab three clay and we're going to cook them in here like so. While we're at it, let's grab all of this stone, stone and bring it over here. Although now that we have a way of getting resource, this is a bit less important. Oh, I say that. I don't know why I say something like that because at the end of the day, we still need a lot of diamond for other quests. So I'm still going to need this anyway. Let's go back to the intended purpose of this episode and craft a charging station like so. And I'm gonna go put it down right now just to show you, but it's going to be kind of useless right now. So what I'm going to do is set up the next island. I'm gonna use the same one as this because rarely will I ever be using the two at the same time. So since I will rarely be using the two at the same time, there's not gonna be any pressure loss. So you put it like this and now see, there's pressure coming into here. And if this was something that could be charged, you click it in here and it would charge the same way that 
things can be charged with electricity, this can be charged with pressure. But right now, I don't have anything to charge, so I'm not losing my pressure to anything. So that's another one done. Let's claim this back, and again, let's put all of these in this chest. And now let's look at the next quest. The next quest is the pressure to heat. The vortex tube uses pressure to make one side really hot and the other really cold. You can put compressed iron block next to the hot side to transfer the heat to them and then the block adjacent to them. If you transfer this heat to a furnace, it'll use that heat instead of a fuel. The higher the heat, the faster the furnace will run. So we need to make some vortex tube and I'm going to be making four of them. So let's look into vortex tube like so. And we're going to be making four of them, like I said. So that's four. Grab all of this, push the gold back in here. That's one quest. Claim this. And that opened up the next quest, which is the one where now this is going to take time. From oil to liquid plastic. The thermopneumatic processing plants uses pressure and heat to turn the product of oil into liquid plastic. So we need to make a thermopneumatic processing plant, and from that we need to make liquid plastic. So let's search for this thermopneumatic, uh, like this, and we're going to make. I'm going to make one of them for now. I, I, I was intending on making two, but for now I'm only going to make one because I'm not 100% sure what I want to do about this. So let's come back here, throw this in here, and I wish I'd not grabbed the glass. But now let's let me show you what's going to happen. So we're gonna do the same setup that we had before. And break this, I guess, but no, okay. So same setup that we did before. And even though, like I said, I would prefer not using this, I will grab this and use it. Put it down here. And now we need some pressure tube, like so. And now it's going to be time to turn on the pneumatic something something. Oh my god, the name of this thing is so complicated. I have a hard time pronouncing it. A thermo pneumatic processing plant unit. And I need some more glowstone. So let's come back here. And you know what? I'm going to make four more. Should be enough. Uh, uh, let's make eight more. It's just I'm trying to be tight on my glowstone. But at the same time, I don't want to spend episode wasting time grabbing things that I should have grabbed from the beginning. So let's just turn that into more of these block and let's grab some more of this, these type of blocks. So we're going to need first the big tile and second, we're going to need these uh, embossed or I guess just some embossed, not all of them. It doesn't really matter. Let's be honest. We, we have enough to complete this island. So let's come back here. And I'm just going to quickly try and complete this island. So now we can set the thermo pneumatic craft something something, which is going to start uh, making our first plastic. I don't know if we're going to be able to make plastic in this episode because it's already 20 minute, 28 minutes in. And this is a very crude way of making plastic. There are better ways of making plastic, but for now, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. But for now, that's the way we have to do it the first time. Let's put a glowstone and a glowstone. Okay, so let's use this thermo pneumatic. I'm going to set right here, uh, right here. So we need to heat it up. And we need to put some uh, pressure in it. So what I'm going to do, I don't know the perfect placement. So, so let's put it up there. And now we're going to put a vortex tube. So the place where you're pointing is going to be the cold one. So that's why I put a block back here because I wanted to put the cold side. So that's the cold side. Now I'm going to put a block right here and I'm going to put one this side. So that's also the cold side. So we have two hot side. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to need some more thermo pneumatic something something. Let's go grab some more of these pressure tube. I need more pressure tube. I'm probably going to make like here. 
that should be enough this time. It's just, I don't want to have, again, to waste time crafting something that I know I'm going to need. So let's go back here. Let's get rid of these crop, this and that, and let's go back here. So I need first to bring pressure to this. So let's bring pressure. Oh. Okay, so it works from the side, but not from the top. Hmm. So I don't like this setup, but it's going to bring pressure to this machine and this tube. And I'm going to put a tube this way because I'm also going to be stealing some of this pressure. So I'm going to remove the charging station for now. And I'm just going to connect this. Perfect. Whew. I don't like the fact that it was discharging. But so now you can see these are going up in temperature and the temperature level that they rise to is based on the amount of pressure and they can go fairly high but now i have two of those warming up this processing plant so this processing plant has i don't know why it has pressure because it shouldn't be getting it from here you know what i'm going to start these so that they it starts getting pressure like so oh this one's lava I need to go get some lava. Okay, so let's look at this. So this one has a temperature of 214. It has some pressure and these are getting pressure, but these are burning the pressure that's in here. If I look in here, this pressure is actually going down. So I'm going to split these and I'm going to restart these and I'm going to hope that things don't blow up because I haven't had put any security pipe yet, but I need the setup to work. So now let's look into this thermal pneumatic something. If you right click on it, it's gonna give you the recipe. We need some LPG to turn into liquid plastic. So how do we get LPG? We get LPG, oh sorry, how do we get LPG? We get LPG by turning fuel. How do we get fuel? We don't have galactic craft yet. We get fuel from kerosene. How do we get kerosene? We get kerosene from diesel. How do we get, oh and diesel, that we know how to get. So let's go grab some diesel and we're going to come back right here. Do I have a couple of buckets somewhere because I do need, so that's one with this nine, that's going to be three more. You know what? I'm just going to craft some more because I want to try to limit the number of back and forth that we're going to make. So this one is diesel. So one, two, three, four, and let's come back right here and we're going to input these four buckets in here. So one two three four i don't even know if it's working right now let me just quickly eat and we're going to take so technically the diesel should be turning into kerosene let me just finish eating perfect so yes we're getting kerosene so that was four bucket the reason i want to make five bucket is since it's 100 to 80 you need at least five bucket to get a full bucket of the other one so while this is processing, let's come back here and let's get some more. One, two, three, four. And back down here. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So now we have eight bucket. I'm going to make 20 bucket. So let's go back here and one, two, three, four. I'm not quite sure why I'm making 20 buckets, by the way. I, I, it might be way too much. It's just that I want to get my first plastic. So now this is still transforming. And you know what? I'm going to check if I can make another tank. I would love another tank because I'm going to have to empty that thing of kerosene. So uh, for tank, I need four treated wood fence. And I need these iron sheet metal. Where are my treated wood fence? I can't see them for the life of me. Treated wood fence. Oh, okay. So I don't have any left. That's kind of weird. I was not expecting to not have any left. Let's make some more. I just need four. So treated wood fence. I need... Am I really out of cheated wood? Wow. Okay. I guess I know that what that means. Let's go back here. And we have so much creosote oil that this is not a problem. The problem now is I don't have wood on me. So let's go back here. 
and grab some wood. And if I'm going to need wood, let's just grab it from here because that's good. And let's come here. I don't remember if it's wood or wood plank. So it's wood plank, uh, of course. Let's put it here and get all of this wood plank. And now it's going to be eight around one. Perfect. I'm going to make all four of them because I don't want to have the same situation running out again. And I should even, you know what? I should even do more. Not quite sure I'm going to waste the time on that though, but let's go back here because that's only 32. You know what? Whoa. Uh, I guess you didn't see that, and if you didn't see that, I died in the last episode because I hit the power cable again. I'm just too lazy to remove it. I don't want the sound of narrator on, narrator off. We'll do that in the time lapse. So let's do 32 more of this, like so. Perfect. And now let's transform four of these and two sticks and now we should be able to make our treated wood fence let's make all of it into treated wood fence i only need four though and the rest i'm going to put in here and i'm going to need this engineer hammer so let's go back here so this is again in the middle of the place not the right place i'm going to move it later but i'm going to put one right here just so that I can start transferring my kerosene to it. And I need to do that because I'm not going to have a nice round bucket amount ugh, of kerosene. So let's just do this quickly. I, ah, oh, come on, not enough sheet metal. So I'm going to use the cheaty way. I hate this poison. I should have put this way for... This is all the iron I have left. Wow. Four, eight. I'm going to do 16. And in between episode in the time lapse, you guys know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be making some more um, iron. <laughs> I thought I was okay transforming all of the iron into compressed iron, but I guess I should have been a little bit more careful. So let's grab all of these iron sheet metal. And let's go and finish this tank quickly. So like this. And now this should be able to transform. Yes, perfect. Now let's just make sure nothing's exploding here. So the pressure here is good. Oh, look at that kerosene. Nothing going above, nothing going above. Perfect. So we're still all good. Let's go grab a pump. I already have some pipes on me. Yes. So all I need is a pump. No pump here. No pump there. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I'm also out of pumps. I'm also out of pump. Really? Let's make some more, I guess. One, two, three. Oh, not this. Not this, I said. So three for pumps. So pump. Pump like this let's craft one of these perfect now i just need my tool because this will not be in the right order and while i'm here might as well fix my sword i've been killing so many mob i just uh, if you looked at the time lapse you've seen how unlucky i've been with the crafting uh getting of an ectoplasm it's kind of annoying so it's probably in this chest right <gasps> my treated wood fence were here so I kind of wasted. That's what happens when you don't clean up after yourself. So this is my ranch. Now let's go back here and we're going to transfer all of the kerosene. Hopefully. I just, I do hope this works. And like so. And yes. So we're transferring the kerosene out of here. And all of the um, diesel is out and what we're going to do is right after we're going to turn this around and we're going to do the reversed we're going to put the kerosene in here which should turn into lpg perfect so now we're just going to reverse the work go like this oh and bring it in 
like so. And now kerosene's coming in, which is giving us fuel, and fuel is the last step that we're going to have to transform into LPG. So this is going to empty into this, and now we have a little while to wait. So that's why I wanted to, I wanted to put uh, one diesel straight to kerosene, and then kerosene straight to fuel, but then I figured if I do this, I don't need two, I need three. And the problem is you need the heat. So if you need the heat, you need those. So now I need to power, I need enough pressure to get heat on multiple. And to be fair, this is a temporary process. And the reason I say it's a temporary process is that one of the next step is going to be making a, a machine that will let you grab, get your LPG in one way, the same way the distillery bike there, the distillation tower gets you all of the level in one go, we're gonna have the same result. So now there's no more kerosene in here, so let's break all of that down, break that down, and now we can do the reverse. Put that right here. Oh, it was already the right side. And now we're going to put some pipes back and now we're removing the fuel and this is filling with fuel. Perfect. And as long as we have at least one, two buckets of fuel, I think we should be good to make one bucket of plastic because it's still the 100 to 80 ratio. So now I kind of went overboard with the kerosene. So because of that, we have to wait for all of the kerosene to be transformed. While we're waiting, might as well eat our applesauce. And I'm gonna have to make more already. So while we're waiting, let's look on our Silk Wisp. We have, oh, wait, 23. Wow, we're so close. Nope. So let's put the honey in here. Let's get rid of this propolis and let's go see what we have in our two um, aviary, industrial apiary right here. So grab this and Grab this, and we have so many drones now that it's overflowed. So let's come back here, and we're going to just start transforming these, and we might be able to take care of this quest today. This is really kind of exciting for me. The more quests we can close up, the better it is. And you know what? Let's go look at the kerosene. How's the kerosene doing? Still producing. So while we're waiting, remember last episode I was doing a quest cleanup? and I was going through everything, I kind of forgot one. I kind of forgot one quest cleanup. I forgot the irrigation system. So irrigation system. With a wooden tank, channel, and sprinkler, you can make a simple irrigation system to automatically water your crops. The tank can fill up with rainwater or have water piped into it. Warning, currently there is a bug that causes the tank to crash your world when they are full. If that happens, you can enable remove error tile entities in the forge config to delete them. So we're going to make those, but we're not going to use them. Water tank, because there's no way I want to crash my world. So let's make some wooden water tank for them. That's fine for now. That should be one part. The tech. Hello. Okay. Wooden irrigation. So irrigation. Irrigation channel. I want the same one. Make. Four of these, perfect. And the last one that we need is sprinkler. Sprinkler is a bit more complicated. Sprinkler, it needs some iron, yeah, some iron bars. Oh, I have enough. Good thing I still had some iron in here because then I would not have been able to clean up that quest. So let's do the sprinkler now. And that's, I, I'm only going to make one. I really don't need the extra. Let's get rid of all of this. And that's another quest cleaned up back and we're going to get rid of this I don't need any of this and push it in here also this I don't know why I have this on me and that's another quest cleanup so now technically if I look at this it was already completed because it was completed before this happened but now unless other than the immersive engineering everything should be clean oh true magic well kind of stuck on that one Done, done, this one, these three are not complete. A true blacksmith, until I get iridium, I can't do this. So I need the iridium and I need to unlock this. Power of the star is still locked. These, the two to clean up only, and then under pressure is where we're working at right now. So let's go see where our plastic is at. If I come back here, everything's been transformed, perfect. 
So now we're going to repeat this process one last time, hopefully. Well, put this right here, extraction pump. And now this is filling with fuel, which is going to make LPG. Oh, no, it's not the last time. So this is going to be fuel to LPG. And then again, we're going to have to do LPG to plastic. Whew, this is so long. So while we're waiting for this, first, I'm going to go make some more food because I'm kind of starving. I don't want to die from starvation. <sighs> These apple, I really have to fix this. This is just crazy. It's a good thing that those are what I eat because... I find a use for the apple. So let's just grab this. And I want to finish on the plastic. I'm sorry this is running long again, but I get excited. And I know that I want to complete the plastic so that next episode we can move on to bigger and better things. So let's come back here and see where this is going. This is going a little bit slow. Uh, I shouldn't have made that much. I was just too excited and I made way too much. Let's show all of these bits and bobs in here. And you know what? While we're waiting, let's just work on the uh, island a little bit. Let's come back here. And just add this. I'm probably going to have to make this island too large. Now that I'm thinking about it, it feels like this is going to be so... I'm going to need so many machinery that... As we did with immersive engineering, I feel we're going to need a double island. And I'm really, you know what? I'm not thinking, I'm sure about that. We're gonna need a double island for sure. So like this and put a glowstone in here. Don't wanna screw up the lighting like I did last time with the chicken island because that's not fun. Now let's go and check how we're at with kerosene. So we have more than half transformed. This is going well. While we're waiting for this, this is empty. Let's just remove this right now so that we're ready oh i guess i was not hitting the right place and let's put that back in and we're gonna go take a look uh, i still need this let's go take a look at our silk wisp if i could at least get rid of that quest that would be a good thing you know what let's interrupt this with hit this because how many are we missing i'm just going to take a quick look but i think we're missing so little of it that we could be good. So if I come back here, we're missing exactly nine. So if we had nine Silk Wisp, we'd be done with this. So four, five, please give me one, five. Uh, just because I'm looking at it, six, seven. Oh, oh, this is looking likely. Seven, seven still, oh, come on. Three in a row, eight. Oh, come on if it doesn't give nine perfect so this is a quest done let's put this in here let's wait for our last woven silk et voila we have our 24 woven silk let's craft our apiary armor so the main body like so the boots like so the helmet like so and the pants voila so another quest completed this is really cool the only one left will be the apiary and now if i come here and i put this in i wanted to show you if i put this in the reason this is a uh, i turned off my diamond i don't know what turns it on and off i do have to find that so now if I come right here, I don't have to be worried. I can be as close as I want to. It doesn't matter. This cannot hurt me. So this is why the apiary suit is good. But to be fair, other than that, there is no use for it. So I'm going to put it off in a moment. I just LPG is ready. Let's not waste any time. Let's output the LPG to right here. Empty, empty, empty. Let's go. And I don't know why I break the whole thing every time. I don't think I have to. So let's just wait for the LPG to be completely removed. And there's still an 80 fuel because it needs 100. So now I need to dump perfect the remainder. Now I take this part right here, this part right there, put this back here. 
and the pipe right there, which is going to bring us to... See? I I do know why I kept doing this. It feels that if you don't remove all of the pipe, sometime what ends up happening is that it doesn't really... Uh, it's not able to push the liquid to the new source. Perfect. So now the LPG is in, which means we're making plastic. Oh, this is exciting. LPG, um, why is it not making plastic? Plastic. Where's the liquid plastic right here? Oh, because I also need some coal. So this is one of the recipe that needs a catalyst. So we need coal as a catalyst. Let's grab a stack of coal and get back right here and put the catalyst in like so. And now we're able to make plastic. So this is going to be already a bucket. Wow. Okay. So the transformation of plastic is much easier than everything else. So let's grab a bucket of this and quest completed. Let's hit back on here. Let's go back on under pressure from oil to liquid plastic. The so this is the one bucket of plastic we needed. Let's grab the loot chest. And now we've unlocked making plastic. So this is to turn liquid plastic into any color of plastic. And that's going to be something that I do in the next episode. So that's going to be it for this episode. Let me open all of these loot chests. And I'm going to go into a time lapse. In my time lapse, I'm going to uh, be trying to get my ectoplasm. Uh, trying to make sure that I'm on par for the APS, AP, uh, the alveary. So I'm going to replace the two tropical bee with two cultivated bees because cultivated bees are going to give me more honey. And the other thing that I want to do is what else? What else? What else? Oh, well, the other thing I want to do is I want to craft a lens of lens of color. Which one is it? Lens of color. This one. And I want to use the lens of color because lens of color is used to make, uh, it's used to make, let me just show you instead of trying to say, you use the lens of color to make any kind of dye. So, oh, I started the website. That's not what I wanted to do. So basically you throw the um, bone meal in front of the lens and you'll get the next one and you can get all 16 dye. And I need to get that ready for this so that we can work on the dye chicken the next time. So let's open this, a B sample, speed fast. A, what's this one? A chest upgrade tool, okay. A heavy plated shield, homing cartridge and revolver, a another engineer skyhook, some more razor wire, a small to medium, four, four void transfer pipe and spiky claws. Not a single good reward tonight. So let's look at this one. Teeter box and glass. Bow tie and monocle. Magenta runic dust. And finally, oh, and finally, what's the last thing that we're getting? 32 void stone. So this was a very deceiving uh, reward set. So I'm going to end on this and I'm going to go into my time lapse where I'm going to prepare die and the lens of die and work on the B quest to try and get it to completion as soon as possible. And in the next episode, we're going to get into plastic and more complicated under pressure. We got almost half of the quest line done in one episode, but the rest is going to take much more time because this is a complex mod and we've barely scratched the surface. Guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.